Hey guys, um, I there's been a few things I've just been thinking about lately and that's kind of uh, changed the way I kind of think about things and that is um, success, how I view success. Is success an, your obligation or is it something, do you view success as, um, well, hopefully I'm successful, um, well, I hope it works out, well, I hope I um, do well, I hope I make money for my family, um, I hope I lose that weight, I hope my marriage survives, um, but I don't know, it could be this, it could be that, we'll just see what happens. Or are you the person who says, no, success is not an option for me, it's gonna be, my, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna make it happen, I'm gonna make sure it happens. So which one are you? And I just kinda had this epiphany, like, no, I don't wanna be the person that's just sitting back hoping that I do well, or hoping that, you know, my kids turn out good, hope that my business thrives, hope that my marriage survives. Uh, no, I'm gonna make sure that either, even if whatever it is, your business, um, your marriage, your friendships, your, um, your home life, um, live with tenacity and live with um, fire, at fire in your belly. Even if, say you have a job, say you have a job and you have a sales job and it's just not your thing, you wish you, you don't really like your boss, um, you, your hours kind of are sucky, um, you just don't feel like eh, but you still, you are still in charge of supporting your family. It, I don't, you have to have that mind shift, that mindset like, I don't care if this job is not my what I wanna do, I'm gonna work my butt off so I get to that next level, so I can do the things that I wanna do, so I can maybe start a new job, I can get promoted. So you have to start here and you have to work your butt off. Is it gonna be, be easy? Absolutely not. You're gonna get tons of no's, you're gonna get tons of sorry's, um, you're gonna have people in your life who are like naysayers, so I wanna kinda of talk about a little bit about that too. Your vibe attracts your tribe, so and that goes vice versa. You're gonna be attracted to people um, that are either positive or negative. Um, so take a second and think, what kind of person are you? Because you're usually one or the other. You're usually glass half full or glass half empty, and that's just kind of how it is. Um, naturally, that's kind of in you and your personality. Um, but are you the type of person that even something really great happens, you get this what you automatically point, or do you know somebody like this who points out the negative, like, well, I could have done better. Well, this didn't happen for me. Well, that person didn't show up. Instead of, I am so grateful that this happened. Or you think, what, what person are you? And if you are a negative person, you can work on optimism. It's something that can be grown. It is like a muscle. It's like anything else. You don't have to be the negative person. You can try to slowly go yourself. If there are people in your life who I mean, honestly, could be a close friend, could be a mom, could be um, your husband, could be, I mean, that negative little chatter in your ear is gonna affect everything that you do. So um, friends especially, or your coworkers, or if you, there's people in your life that are eating away at what you wanna do or kind of bringing you down, it's okay to separate yourself from that. It's okay to, to grow and be, you can, Separate for that yourself from that person and decide I'm gonna do something different. I wanna I wanna be successful. I wanna be positive. I wanna see growth and happiness and joy in my life. Um, that is all you. And once you start doing that and making it a habit and consistently putting good people in your life, you're just gonna that vibe is gonna be put out to other people too. So I just want you guys to really realize that you are gonna be attracting the vibe that you put out. And then in everything that you do, if you are not consistent about it, um, you're not going to see growth. If it's your health, you know, it's going to take for anything two to three months to see that real change. So if it's, I want to lose 20 pounds, well, guess what? It's not going to happen after the first week. Um, I want to strengthen my marriage. Guess what? If it's not very good, it's probably not going to be great in a week. Um, I want to be thriving in my job. Well, guess what? It's not going to happen overnight. It's gonna, but if you are putting the same effort every single day into what you do, if you are showing up consistently, you're gonna see major dividends. It's gonna keep coming and coming and coming. It's gonna be um, like the 10 time rule. It's just the ex exponential growth and you're gonna see huge changes. But if you show up and put everything in it for a week and then say, mm, well, there's not a whole lot of change. Well, it's been a week. You gotta give it more than that. Um, you can't just, 
go all in and then cut it off in a week or, you know, a month. You got, you got to go in and be in it for the long haul and decide I'm going to succeed. And those people who tell me I can't, well, they're wrong because I'm going to. If you come in with that mindset and the mindset like, yeah, oh, me and my husband, we're struggling right now. I know it. He knows it. Everyone knows it. Whatever. Figure it out. Make it your goal to, to do better, be better. Um, it is your obligation. It is not a, uh, maybe let's see if it you know, goes well. No, make it something that it's, you're going to do and you're going to do it well because we live not very long on this life. We have no idea if tomorrow is promised. No idea. You could be gone this afternoon. So why hold on to that bitterness or why not go after that dream? Why not um, go balls to the wall and do it because we have this much time in this world. So do it with zest and fervor and um, and just live hard. That's what it's about. Um, so it's just something I kind of was think been thinking about lately and just kind of a challenge, um, a challenge to you, kind of a, a, an assignment, if you will. Um, write down, get a piece of paper and decide what do you want? What do you really want? What do you want in your marriage? What do you want um, in your family? What do you want in your job? Um, where do you want your health to be? Do you want to train for half marathon and, and do it the right way? Do you want to, I don't know, lose those 20 pounds? Do you want to get a major promotion at your in your work? Do you want to quit jobs and try something else? Figure out what exactly you, you want and, and what steps are needed to take to get there. Is it going to be cutting some po poisonous people out of your life? That's going to suck sometimes. It's hard, but it, if it has to be done, you got to remove it because it's just going to be a poison in everything that you do. So, and it's okay. And find those people that ooze, you know them. You can tell them the second you meet somebody, if they're going to be someone who's going to be building you up or someone who's going to be tearing you down or, hey, always gossiping or always um, just never positive, never building up. Find people who you are attracted to and who um, you just feel happy to be around, excited to be around. They're going to help you grow and be the better person and stick with them because who you are around, that's who you will become. And you guys know it. I mean, I'm 30 years old and I know it. I mean, who you're with around and who you surround yourself with is who you end up becoming. So just search those people out um, and, and just try to surround yourself with good, with positive. And that means, you know, if that means plug in, plug into your word, get a great devotional. If you're not going to church, go to church. If you're a husband and you are not feeling it, Go to church. You are the head of your household. It is your obligation um, to lead your family. And and wives, too, is your obligation to stand by your husbands and to build them up, even when they're driving you nuts, even when you don't like them. Just speak truth. Speak um, encouragement. Speak uh, life into them. It's just so important. Um, and then are you attracting? Who, who, what kind of people are you attracting? Are you a negative Nancy? Are you a downer Debbie? Well, figure out why and and switch that mindset instead of always thinking, well, that sucked. Oh, well, I wish I did better. Well, poor me. No, not poor you. Put up your girl, big girl panties and go out there and do something great. You're awesome. You are freaking awesome. You are special and smart and driven and um, you're here for something. So whatever it is that you want to do, go do it. Go do it with joy and um just excitement and and make sure you're surrounding with yourself with those people um and big things are going to happen so just my little random tidbit for the day um don't let success be an option um make it an obligation make it your duty to be successful at whatever you want to be successful at and um go with it with heart and uh with excitement and joy and even because you're gonna you're gonna get tore down you're gonna get nose you're gonna get um walls put up in your way in your face and it's that's okay and that's okay and it's gonna happen if you can push past that and push past that no okay what can I learn from this experience how can I get better from this experience take that and next time you do it do it better and and you'll be stronger you'll have learned something instead of oh poor me okay no what can I learn from that experience that I didn't do well last time how can I do it better next time um so just my little tidbit. Um, hope you guys have a great Monday and finish this week strong and go, just go for it because life's short and, um, yeah, don't half-ass it. Don't be a half-asser. Be a full-asser. <laughs> okay. Peace out.